I welcome you all back to our My Player Career Mode here in EFC 24, where at the moment we sit top of League 2 with Wrexham, three points clear of Gillingham. But we had a tough end to the previous episode, losing 2-0 to Colchester and our top scorer, Paul Mullen, picked up an injury, which will see him sidelined for the next two months. And as I say, he is our top scorer. He's the only player, in fact, to have hit double figures for goals this season so far. The next highest is Stephen Fletcher, who's got nine. So it's an opportunity for one of the other strikers at the club to step up and fill the boots of Paul Mullen. How will Wrexham be affected in terms of their league form? We're about to find out for today's episode. Sit back, relax and enjoy, my friends. As always, a huge thank you for all of your incredible support. I hope that you are all feeling fantastic, having an awesome day. And we have ourselves more matches to come in League Two. But not only that, we've got our FA Cup Round 3 tie as well against Plymouth to play today. So we'll be simming that Forest Green Rovers game here in the EFL Trophy. I'm not interested in playing it. And we're looking ahead to a January in which we have three home league matches. And I'm hoping the absence of Paul Mullen won't affect us too much. We will also have Barrow at home as well. Aside from the Colchester game, it was a great episode. We beat Gillingham in a top of the table clash in the previous one by two goals to nil. Then beat Sutton by a goal to nil and then Wimbledon 3 nil. So it was really only Colchester, which was the tough game for us. And of course, the injury to Mullen didn't help. But wasting no time today, then let's get into this episode. A thousand likes would be incredible. And as I say all the time, you lot are amazing. I thank you all for the support. And here is the starting 11 the boss has gone with. Burstow, partners Fletcher up front as we have Barrow at home. And as we see Barrow in possession, a quick thank you as well for all of the birthday messages that you lovely people left me. Really appreciate it. And it was really cool to read through them all. So yeah, thank you all. So, so much. And with Mullen's absence, we need to step up. We need to take this Wrexham team forwards. Not to mention we already have been doing it. We've got the most assists in League Two. But largely, most of the time, it's been Mullen finishing off the chances. So we've got to do it all again here. That's good play by White to intercept. O'Connor will take it here for Wrexham. And we are an option should he want to use me. Now James McLean. Forward towards Cannon. Cannon controls well. Cannon's ball inside will find us. Now then, here we go, looking for the first chance. There's the ball. Burstow takes it. Burstow cuts back, finds us. Left footed strike. And Farman saves. 20 minutes gone. Wrexham with the opening chance. Good save. Not in the corner, though, the shot, to be fair. So maybe if I'd have aimed it a little bit further, that might have been 1-0. But a good move, nevertheless. And we keep the pressure on here with Cannon winning that header. Chance to play it down the line for McLean. Here is James McLean inside for Fletcher. Took it too close to Reeve. Spence has to be careful here for Barrow. He is. And they will be able to play their way out of defence. Here is the ball out wide for Ford. Ford on this right-hand side. Seven minutes to go until the half-time whistle. Ball inside for Fletcher. Ford's there to support. Fletcher finds us. Switch of play to McLean on the left-hand side. Here we go then. McLean inside for Cannon. What a touch that is by Andy Cannon. Into a great position. Across it goes. Chester heads away. And it will fall for Garner to just pick up the loose ball. Ah, oh, we had to get on the second ball and we didn't. And that's why Barrow have got out, who at the moment have seen us have a shot at goal, which was saved. Our shot. And other than that, we've had the ball in and around their penalty area, but haven't really forced them into anything else. Here is Cannon. Now to Fletcher. Fletcher, the ball is there for me. He will use me as well. I'm going to try and cut this back and see if I can get across in. Back post! There's Bursto! Offside! It was in anyway, but it won't count. Offside flag goes up and that's the end of the first half. Great finish from Bursto though. What we need to do is try and do that again, but make sure we're onside. Here is Ford, second half underway. Wrexham looking to start strongly. Ford goes back my way. Inside here towards Fletcher. What a turn from Stephen Fletcher, but Chester gets there. Before Fletcher can do anything else with the ball, really good defending. But then Stephen Fletcher, hello, wins it back. Now Cannon, Cannon sends it our way. Right foot. Oh, yes! Wrexham won, Barrow nil. And it is a wonderful finish on our weaker right side. Get in. Just what we needed. Full credit as well to Stephen Fletcher for this because he wins back the ball brilliantly. But even then, we've still got a job to do. And oh, what a finish, by the way. What a finish. 
change for Wrexham. Oli Palmer is on for Burstow, as we will be found with the goal kick. And I'm sure that Paul Mullin is watching from the stands. Applauded that effort that we saw to give us the lead here. This is a attempted run as well to set us up with another chance. Ford trying to get through and Reeve importantly steps in when it looked like Ford might well have just got through. It's a force clearance long. Can we win that header? The answer is no. And it looked like we should. Oh, what a touch. That was outstanding. I was about to say when it looked like we should win our header. We don't. Oh, no. And there's a big chance here for Barrow. Howard saves. And <laughs> I tell you what, it all started with a delightful touch. I'm not sure who it was, but that was outstanding. Eight minutes to go. Spence, left-hand side. Cross goes in. I think it was a cross, although it had a lot of power on it and Howard had to be alert to catch the ball. Uh, maybe it was a shot. I don't know. Still, you're going to have to do a lot better than that to beat Howard. But Wrexham at the moment seeing out this victory. We will find Ford. Ford goes inside to Palmer. Palmer controls back the way of Ford. Our goal is the difference. As we are fast approaching the full-time whistle, Wrexham are looking to pick up the first three points of the episode. Palmer finds us. We shifted onto the left foot. Looking for the early cross. There's Evans. And Farman will catch. The ball was bouncing towards him. It was a simple enough catch for him. But he's got to get the ball forwards. Just a single minute of added time here. And it looks like that's going to do us for the first game of the day. I mentioned Mullin. We would miss him. Who was going to step up in his absence? Well, it was us to find the 53rd minute strike to give us the three points here. And as I say, EFL trophy game. I don't want to play this. So we'll sim it. 2-0 win. McLean and Palmer have scored the goals for us. Little break away from league action. We host Plymouth in the third round of the FA Cup. Should we get through this? Maybe a Premier League team on the cards. That was what I wanted from round three. We got Plymouth instead. But if we do beat them, who knows? Palmer now finding Barnett. Barnett goes backwards. But I'll tell you what, Wrexham, we've actually been in this game so far, which is really good to see against a tough Plymouth side. And this could be a big chance immediately. Palmer, yes! Wrexham leads! This place is bouncing, and rightfully so! The first sight of goal the Wrexham have had, and they take it wonderfully. Ollie Palmer, what a finish. Plymouth, tell you what, they're, they're having it tough. They're not able to break us down that easily. We are in our own penalty area, to be fair to them. Like, we aren't in their half much. They have had the ball in really good areas, but we're defending resiliently. And then when we break like that, Palmer, what a finish. Wrexham's only chance is taken. We lead by a goal to nil here. Early. Now Mumba. Back the way of Early. Ten minutes to go until half time. Plymouth with all this possession, but no way through. The resilience of Wrexham. Now right. Right to Hardy. Hardy into the area. No shot for him, though, because we watch him all the way. And right. And early. And this is what we've done well. He's just making them have to play those passes where it's not creative enough. Until the ball reaches Hardy. And Plymouth are back on level terms. As easy as that. Someone had to pick him up in the box. I could have done more to prevent the ball across. But, I mean, yeah, we just drop off him. It's too easy. Too easy. Hardy scores. And the most annoying part about that was that we were defending well up until that point. And then we sort of just switch off for a moment. And then Plymouth are back on level terms. Well, we have to go ahead and try and score again then. Barnett. Right hand side. Immediate response, let's do it. Barnett's heavy touch, can he get there? He doesn't get there in time. It goes out for a goal kick. Plymouth corner, as it will be taken short. Mumba to Whitaker. Whitaker back the way of Mumba. They're trying a short corner routine, nearly worked out. Mumba, Whitaker combines. We just about get there to steal the ball back for Wrexham. And now we can find Toza, he panicked. He panicked, I mean, I actually wanted to clear the ball longer than that. So, I don't know why the pass only found Toza. Mumba goes for goal. And it's over the bar. Right. Gets the ball out wide. Bundu takes it down well. Now Randell. Randell, who's going to get to the ball first? It will be Toza. Toza. And we've got there ahead of Wright and turned him. That is wonderful. But now we need to find the next pass. As we go back out to this left-hand side. James McLean inside for Cannon. Cannon back the way of McLean. His back heel finds Cannon again. Down the line is McLean. Inside it goes for Basante. Basante picks out me. We shift it to the right for Barnett. Whose cross goes back post. Oh, it would have been 
A spectacular goal if we'd have found our header, but sadly, Plymouth defend it well. Randell, now Bondu, Bondu, ball towards Kessler Hayden. Two additional minutes, Kessler Hayden, Hardy, Hardy, oh, Randell! Lainton saves, but it was a very interesting save. And frustratingly, as much as I, oh, I tried to play it first time because I knew I'd lose the ball there. And for some reason, my player took a touch. Oh! Hardy scores for Plymouth. We're out of the FA Cup. I, I was just going to say, I don't really want to go to a replay. We've got some important League 2 fixtures coming up. So part of me wouldn't have been against getting knocked out, but not in the fashion we just have. When the ball goes forward to me there, I knew if I took a touch, I was going to lose it. I tried to play first time. For some reason, our player took a touch. They pounce and... Hardy still got a lot of work to do from that point. Wonderful turn of O'Connell and the finish as well is brilliant, but such a frustrating way to get knocked out. As much as I would have been happy to get knocked out, not like that. As soon as play gets underway, that's it. And there you go, full-time whistle sounded. We will not face a Premier League side this season in the FA Cup, but it does allow us to focus on League Two. Well, we didn't win it for a while, it felt like. But there we go again. Another Player of the Month award. It is Morecambe up next as we're back into league action. Fletcher and Palmer start up front. Thompson now towards King. King sees the run of Melbourne. Brilliant ball. Morecambe on the attack here down the left-hand side. O'Connell steps in, though. Wins it back well for Wrexham. Ford will find my feet. There is space for me to charge into. And looking centrally, Oli Palmer's made his move. No free kicks as a referee. Fair enough. Well, Connolly, good luck trying to throw this ball out then. And that's why I said good luck trying to do it because I knew full well that Palmer might just win his header and Cannon will find Fletcher. Yes! And you know what? I don't know why I said I thought it was a free kick. I just thought at the same time, I've lost the ball. Let's try and claim for the free kick. But good luck trying to throw the ball out there then because as soon as that happened, I went and marked one option. Palmer marked the other player. And then we stole it back. Fletcher scores. Wrexham lead. Morecambe, you cannot get away with mistakes like that. Here is Cannon. Edge of the penalty area. Palmer, 2-0 Wrexham. Morecambe stunned. Two inside a few minutes. And Wrexham take over the game. I've said it before. Sometimes when we get our opener, floodgates open. And then Wrexham... Easily look to add their second. That's exactly what's happened here. Then other games, we look good, but we just can't find a way through. Usually a very good goalkeeper. Morecambe could be in trouble here, though, because they're already 2-0 down after just 20 minutes. And even with Mullins' absence, Palmer played a massive part in the opening goal, and he's just got himself on the score sheet there. So, yeah, very, very good to see him impact in this game, along with Fletcher as well, who's just moved on. To double figures for the season also with 10 in League 2 now. And here come Wrexham again. Oh, a rare mistake by Fletcher as he gave away possession to Morecambe. Pass it straight back to them. Now Thompson. Good move from him. Thompson, Smith, O'Connell. Important challenge as Wrexham have the ball back. Now Palmer. Palmer finds Fletcher. Fletcher, look at the red shirts flooding forward though. As Palmer here goes to Cannon. Cannon does well, holds off the challenge. And we will look to now get into the area of Morecambe. What a run that was! What a run that was! Wrexham 3, Morecambe 0. And it's an outstanding run. Outstanding finish. And this is Wrexham at their best. Let's have another look at this. I mean, initially I thought, you know what, there's no pass. Let me just try this. And I don't know if Rawson is a little bit apprehensive about putting in a challenge because he thinks he's going to give away a penalty. But he's got to do better than that. I don't care. We take full advantage and Wrexham already 3-0 up and we've yet to play half an hour. Here we go again as well. Here we go again. Relentless is what we are in this one. McLean, now Cannon. Cannon and myself are almost playing like extra strikers. Cannon makes the move. Here's the ball towards him. Cannon pulls it back for Fletcher. Connolly blocks. I think Fletcher had to go first time there, to be honest. I don't think he had time to be able to bring the ball under control and then look to shoot, but I'm saying that. He's still got his shot away. That's a foul, surely. Advantage played by the referee. Cannon takes it forward. Fletcher again! Oh, yes! 4-0 Wrexham! This first half has been sensational from us. At the same time, though, it's been awful from Morecambe defensively. 
And even the goalkeeping here is not that great either. I don't know really what to make of Morecambe. But then you have to give credit to Wrexham because they're punishing them for their poor performance. How many more goals are in the game here? Especially for Wrexham, who don't seem to want to let up anytime soon. McLean into the feet of Fletcher. Palmer is in the middle. Fletcher will find him. Palmer! The touch too close to Smith as he turned on it. Smith read it like a book. Got there. It's an interesting throw out by Smith. And actually a handball given by the referee. And it is an opportunity then for us to look at trying to score our first free kick. And you saw the one we had recently, didn't you? Where we went close, but it wasn't quite good enough to beat the goalkeeper who made a brilliant save. We'll try from this one. We go over the wall and again, Smith gets down. Just not having the power at the minute. We just need to hit it a bit harder, a bit quicker and it's in. I mean, the technique's there. We're getting there with the technique. But the one-handed save. Corner ball then. Can we score from this one? Make it five. There's the delivery. McLean wants it more. And McLean's header nearly makes it five. Wrexham are all over Morecambe. Smith, great pass. Thompson, Wrexham. Oh, the clean sheet's gone. Wrexham, wake up. Morecambe have got one back. We're so fixated on trying to add to the scoreline because we sense that there is goals in this game for us that we get caught napping once. And Morecambe, they do show a sign of life. It's not going to change the outcome of the game. At least, I don't think it will. Imagine now. Can you imagine if Morecambe end up pulling off one of the most sensational comebacks we've ever seen? Surely not, right? Surely not. Palmer, now Ford. We are into the final 10 minutes of the game. And a scoreline has just popped up with a game elsewhere. Wimbledon at the moment are beating Gillingham by two goals to one, which is useful for us because it does mean maybe, just maybe... That means that Gillingham, and I think a penalty's just been given here. That means that Gillingham are going to be even more points behind us if things stay as they are. And I think Notts County might even be second following this game. We'll take a look at the table. But anyway, as it bounces up off of Connolly onto his outstretched arm and Wrexham have a spot kick. And I wonder who's taking it in Paul Mullen's absence. It will be Fletcher. And no mistake made, Wrexham 5, Morecambe 1. The game was never in doubt, but there's another. For Wrexham, senior, three additional minutes here and goal we've conceded aside, it's been an outstanding Wrexham display as we've hit five against Morecambe and I'm sure the home fans will have loved every single minute of this one. As here comes Morecambe, let's not concede a second though. Thompson back towards Bedou and we've now won it back well and that should be that from this one. There we go, full time. One more match to come your way today, my friends. So let's take a look at the table. In fact, this is the EFL trophy we're now in. It's round three, so we can just go ahead and sim this in a moment against Shrewsbury. But I want to show you League Two because Notts County have just drawn as well. And it means we have a game in hand over Gillingham, who sit on 52 points. If we win that, we'll go eight points ahead of them. Notts County played the same games as us, and we are six points ahead of them. Now, if I was to get to a EFL Trophy final, then maybe we'd play it, but we don't have to worry about that because we've just been knocked out on penalties. 2-2 Two -two draw in the 90 minutes and extra time. And we actually came off 46 minutes in for McLean, so only played half of that game. And for the final time today, then, we go into game. There is the starting 11 for us. So we've unlocked another playing style slot which means we can look to add another playing style. So what do I go with here is the question. I think I'm probably going to go with incisive pass for the moment. So that is what we're choosing. And now we can go into game against Swindon. Half an hour gone here. Wrexham nil. Swindon nil. And we are looking to change that right here with Fletcher finding Evans. Now to Palmer. Palmer inside for Davies. Davies finds us. I've seen Ford, but I've also seen the run down the left of McLean. Cuts it back inside. Looks for Palmer. God in my life is with him. Palmer, though, has done well. Palmer trying to cut it back. Oh, it was behind me. If he finds my feet, we might have had a chance to make it 1-0 Wrexham. Palmer again for Wrexham. We run away from him. It's just not quite clicking just yet, but we're still very much on the attack here. McLean, McLean, that's better. There's the chance. There's the goal. Wrexham in front. And that is much more like it. Few passes we've played which haven't quite found their mark. You saw it with 
The initial cutback from Palmer to us just behind us. It's been a bit of a story in the first half here, but now we do combine passes. And the finish is there for Wrexham. Takes us on to nine for the season as well. We are approaching double figures, which would be some achievement in our first year to add to all the assists we've got. But at the same time, this Wrexham side has been brilliant to be a part of. So we have to give credit to our teammates as well, because it's not as if we are a one-man show. Everybody's stepping up. Everybody's doing their job, especially in defence as well. So many times we've seen some clutch tackles or we've seen some clutch saves, especially from Okonkwo, who's back in the starting eleven here today. And there's another moment from him as he saves from Swindon's response. Oh, Ford had his pocket picked. Really, really not good. Oh, Austin, he's got to score. He's got to score. Swindon should be level. Great work by Ford. Wins it back. Now Hayden. Hayden finds Evans. Evans turns to the left instead of going right. Now Davies. Evans again. McLean is over on the left-hand side. There is that pass towards him. Back inside for Davies. Davies to McLean. McLean now to Palmer. Palmer, what's he going to do? Gave it away. Blake Tracy takes it now forwards for Swindon, who had a glorious chance to equalise before half-time when Austin found himself in a shooting position, but he fired wide and Wrexham took their only chance they've had so far which was us with the finish Okonkwo of course made that save as well before the Austin chance so 20 minutes to go here still all to play for Swindon though they know that one moment one lapse in concentration and Wrexham probably will punish them they are the side at the minute on the ball a lot more than we are which is not something I want to be saying Hutton turns back inside now Khan and this is where we have to be so concentrated to not give them a chance. As Kane goes for the strike. Oh, wow. Where has he pulled that one out of then? From absolutely nothing, Kane has just smashed the ball past Okonkwo, who can't do anything to stop this. I don't know how he's generated the power. The ball flew, flew into the back of Wrexham's goal. Time quickly ticking away here. Just a single minute of added time. Are you crazy? Where's that time come from? What? How did we only have a minute of added time? Anyway, it's finished. Wrexham 1. Swindon 1 here. Kane's thumping effort cancels out our opener. We weren't good. So I have to say I'm happy we got a point there because from the performance, it's probably a fair result, but we weren't great ourselves. Right, so here's the table. We are three clear of Gillingham with that game in hand. Six clear of both Stockport and Notts County in third and fourth, having played the same games. So now, as we approach the 30th game of the season, we're in a great position at the top of the table, guaranteed at least six points clear of Stockport and Notts County, potentially even Gillingham if we win our game in hand as well. So that's... All we can try to do is win that game in hand, go six clear and be the team that everyone else is chasing. And I will say as well, without Paul Mullin today, it's been a really good episode. We've got 10 goals now, nine in League Two with 16 assists, which is a goal contribution of 25 goals in 28 appearances. Fletcher is on to 12 in League Two as well. Mullin, how long is he out for still? Six weeks. So... Yeah, Fletcher, you'd imagine, would still be our starting striker. Ollie Palmer as well. What I have noticed is moving forward for Wrexham. Fletcher, 36. Ollie Palmer, 32. So those two ageing. Who joins Mullin as the striker? Bursto, Basante, probably the two that you'd look at. But at the moment, they're not playing in the team as we've gone with Palmer and Fletcher. That for now, though, my friends, is where we will leave today's episode. Thank you all so much for all of your support. A thousand likes would be amazing, as I said earlier. If you are new around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Activate the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the future content coming to the channel. Appreciate all of you, and I hope that you have an awesome day, awesome evening. Stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you all back here for a brand new My Player Career Mode episode very soon. Adios!